Introducing solids to your baby, whether they've been breastfed or formula fed, can feel like a major transition, and it can be a little overwhelming at first. Ideally, solids should be introduced once your baby is at least six months old, greater than 13 pounds or double birth weight, can sit up, has good head control, and leans forward or shows interest in foods that are offered. When you're first introducing your baby to solids, it's really more about the experience of exploring tastes and textures and getting exposed to new foods. But the bulk of your baby's nutrition should still come from breast milk or formula. You can often combine their first tastes of food with breast milk or formula. You can also start a meal with your baby's milk, offer those first tastes of food, only about a half a teaspoon at a time, and then end the meal with milk as well. When you're preparing foods for your baby, it's best to remove skin, fat, and bone from animal products, cook, mash, or puree foods so they're soft and easy to swallow. Babies can be given whole foods, but square or spherical pieces pose a higher choking risk, so they should be cut into very small pieces or strips. Each time you introduce a new food, you should wait two to three days before introducing another to watch for signs of food allergies or intolerances. You can also consider adding a few sips of water to your baby's diet when you're starting solids. Generally, fruit juices should be avoided in the first year and shouldn't be given to baby until after 12 months. It's also important not to overfeed your baby. Signs of fullness can include closing their mouth, turning away, refusing to eat, spitting food out, slowing down with their feeding, or even falling asleep during a feeding. For little ones at high risk of food allergies, because of family history or other risk factors, it's best to talk to your baby's healthcare provider before introducing those foods. But for babies who are low risk, Research shows that introducing those highly allergenic foods as early as possible might actually help to reduce the chances of food allergies later on. If you're still breastfeeding, the American Academy of Pediatrics recommends continuing to offer breast milk for at least your baby's first year and possibly beyond. Check out our other videos in the infant care feeding series.